Hi everybody, um, this is the um, collection tool haul number six. Um, if you've not seen any of the other videos, I implore you to go take a look because if you do like unusual tools, um, I don't think you'll find <clears throat> a more unusual bunch. I've never seen one anyway. Um, so this is the um, smaller tools which I purchased from him. Um, to show you the size, um, these are just under three inch, um, and then the bigger sizes are four inch. Um, this one is a, a four inch, and I think this one probably is a six. So that's the biggest one, um, but most of them are at around the four inch range or three inch range. So I say s s the four inch are tiny tools. Uh, or uh, small tools and the three inch are mini tools I call them and um, so I've got to keep them in two separate collections and um, so basically these are the small tools I got and um, to be honest I don't think I've seen any of them before possibly I may have seen one like this before on eBay but very rare possibly I don't know and um, <clears throat> so the first one is one of these double-ended uh, wagon wrenches but absolutely minute absolutely fabulous never seen anything like that before and um, these usually come in bigger sizes and they're for like wagon wheels and coach wheels and stuff like that and um, these are very early indeed and this is a nice example and um, this one i saw one very similar i don't know if you can make out that name um but this almost looks like it's it's got the handle missing but it's not this is exactly how it comes and it's a very very rare wrench indeed a very early example and it's a multi-tool because it has a little hammer as well as a wrench um, and it's quite a unique design i don't know if anyone's ever seen one of those before but very very good then we've got two um bergman tools um um buffalo new york um queen city um, guaranteed forged steel and they look like they've got a little hex nut at the back and I just think these are fabulous these are absolutely a beauty I've never seen anything like it before they kind of remind me of the crescent ones and um, I don't know if there's any connection with the crescent and the Bergman but these are fabulous I don't know if they do a bigger size this is a four inch and this is an eight inch is it I think um, so I don't know if they uh, have any other sizes, but I'd love to have them if they did pick them up. But these are beautiful wrenches. Queen City, New York. What I'm starting to realise is New York made a heck of a lot of industrial tools in the uh, late, early 19th century. They were really outputting some amazing stuff. Absolutely fabulous. Um, the next one is this one. Uh, yet again, I'm not sure if I can read, read it. It's, is that say improved? made does that say made in the usa let me have a look needs a good wire wheel i'm not sure that says made in the usa i've i've never seen anything like it before it's got kind of two scalloped out holes in the middle almost for like weight design save weight design um very interesting wrench never seen anything quite like that one either a cool example We've got here a miniature footprint wrench. Um, I think this is a just over a four inch, four and a quarter inch uh, footprint wrench. I did purchase these bigger brother on the flea market, but this is super cool with it being the smaller size. Um, I'm not sure if uh, Nash has got that size. I know he's got probably one of the biggest footprint collections I've ever seen, but I'm not sure. I don't know if he's got that size. You'll have to chime in Nash. Uh, we've got this one here. Someone's uh, banged his uh, banged his old name into it. LR. I think I might grind that out. I don't like that one. Um, but yeah, this is a very small, very cute. It almost looks like the Boss wrench, which is the original designer of this type of wrench. Um, has it got some writing there? Oh, it's got. Here we go. It's got a patent number. Four one four one four one five eight two eight. Um, and it says double zero nineteen. I'm not sure if anyone knows that painting. If they can search it, tell me how old. I'm gonna guess it's from the nineteen uh, twenties or earlier. That'd be my pump. 
We've got this one here. It says foreign on it, so it's probably German, I would have guessed. And this looks to be like a, a smaller King Dick um, style wrench. Very cool. And it's got the uh, offset back. I'm not sure if that's as a hammer, but very, very cool. So I imagine this is a little German one or possibly from the US. They seem to be the two manufacturers used, but that's another fantastic one. Now we've got this uh, Imaro made in Spain. And this is quite an unusual wrench, the way it adjusts. It adjusts quite finely from the back. Um, super cool little wrench as well. Very happy with that one. And this is a four inch. Now, have you ever seen anything more elaborate? This is a multi-tool. You've got a set screw there, and this is a glass cutter on the bottom, which is kind of cool. And then we've got a wrench on the top, depose. I wonder if this is a French design. It certainly looks that French sort of look. The, the, the chap had a lot of, in his collection, a lot of French wrenches. He had a lot of every type of wrenches. Um, he only sold me this one because he had two, because he wouldn't have sold it, he said. Um, and this is beautiful. I've never seen one with um, with a glass cutter at the end. You tell me, you chime in if you've seen one with a glass cutter before. I don't think I have. So this is a really unusual example um, of, a, I think it's a French, if I had to guess, um, branded multi-tool. Very cool. Then we've got a Robert Bosch, um, made, made in, what does that say there? Germany, yeah, Germany, made in Germany. A Robert Bosch, I wonder if this is the Bosch company, the tool company. Um, a lot of his wrenches were quite sticky, you know, he wasn't fussed if they worked, he was a collector, so he didn't obviously mess with them. So these need a bit of 50-50, I think, mineral oil and that to get these working again. But a German, very, very small three inch wrench. We've got another one here, which looks very similar design actually to this one. This one says it's a, uh, Hair grip, is it? Hero grip, hair grip, and it's on um, that size. You got any writing? British steel, so it looks looks to be very similar to that one, doesn't it? And this one works in a very similar way, indeed. Um, this is also a fabulous little miniature wrench, and this I can only describe as a salesman's sample. Really, it's that small. It says there, is it Mac Macrome? Macrome. I wonder if that's French like Macron, Macron. Um, it's got a flat there, so I need to get a thread file on that, because you see it's had a whack there, so it's flattened the thread so it won't turn, so I need to get a thread file on that to get that to work. But that's another cute little beauty. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Very small and very unusual wrenches. He probably had a 100 small wrenches in his collection. I will insert a picture of one of his miniature drawers at the end for anybody who's interested. Um, please put in the description, if you could only take one, <clears throat> which one would you choose? Which one do you think catches your eye? For me, I think it's a very hard choice, this one. But I think I'd probably choose this one because it's got... I've just never seen anything with a, with a, with a, um, with a glass cutter before. I think it's fabulous. Um, so, yeah... <clears throat> Thanks for watching if you've got this far. Don't forget to leave a comment. Which one would you choose out of those cool wrenches? All right, take care. Don't forget. Bye.